the Defender, of course, the Land Rover range has grown from the LR2, LR4. You have the Discovery, you have the Defender, you have the um, my less favorite Land Rovers, but Defender is certainly one of my most favorite ones. And these days it comes in three different types, engine types. So you have the P300, P400, they're respectively 300 and 400 brake horsepower. Uh, that's a four and a six cylinder. It's an inline six, the uh, latter one. And then you have a V8 as well with a whopping 516 horsepower. So that's kind of like the creme de la creme. This particular model I have, and of course they come in two chassis modes. There is a 90 and a 110, and it is rumored that there will also be a 130 inch. So that's gonna be a true seven seater. But I believe if that comes out, that'll come out next year. Now I have the 110, I have the uh, 3.5 liter 400 brake horsepower which is actually a turbocharged supercharged version and it has a uh, 48 volt uh, plug-in hybrid which kind of gets rid of that uh, turbo lag so it's actually very very good uh, while off-roading but we'll have a look at the off-roading in a little while throughout the years the Land Rover brand actually went under Rover then British Leyland um, it eventually went into uh, BMW, then ended up in the hands of Ford. And then some years ago, Tata Motors of India bought it. They bought the entire Jaguar Land Rover brand. And today they produce some of the best cars in the world. So Tata has done an excellent job with this, uh, you know, beautiful car, this heritage, this uh, heritage mark, I like to call it. Adventure Country explorer on and urban are the accessory packs that you can have with your wonderfully capable uh, Land Rover Defender now each one has a different kind of trim you can have things like a mechanic winch in the front to this uh, kind of a um, an inflatable tent that goes on the top and much much more so there is an abundance of uh, choices there however let's be honest I mean, most people will be using this car for the school run and perhaps going down into Kite Beach. But should you want to explore the vast wilderness of our beautiful desert in the UAE, then this Defender will certainly not disappoint. One other feature this uh, Defender has with the uh, Explorer package is a weighed feature. Now, that means the whole car can actually submerge up to 900 milliliters in water and inside the uh, the weight feature will actually show physically how deep your uh, defender is um, in you know submerging the water of course i am rather hard pressed to demonstrate that here in the uh, dubai desert i am in al Qudra, but i know that the water is about yay deep and i think i might get in some trouble if i uh, put the car in there but i'm sure there'll be another time when we can uh, demonstrate that weight feature doing my A-levels and GCSEs in the UK, I had a dear friend of mine, Thomas Hawker Boyd. Now Boyd, uh, you know, being the sort of chap he is, he used to bring his Land Rover Series 3 lightweight 90 uh, to school, even though he wasn't allowed to. And that car, that 4x4, served as our uh, kind of door to freedom. We used to go all over the place with that car and it really changed our uh, you know, lives when we were young lads in the UK. Now, I used to tease Boyd and I used to say, hey, nice Jeep. And uh, he never liked that because he would say, this is not a Jeep, this is a Land Rover. But now that I've uh, read a little bit more about the history of Land Rover, it turns out that in 1948, uh, the chap who created Land Rover uh, Maurice Wilkes uh, actually did it because his Jeep Willis was kind of running low on steam. It was about to be, um, you know, out of action. So he came up, he was of course the head of Rover those days, he came up with this uh, new car, a Land Rover that would be rugged uh, for the terrain, for the country terrain. And um, that's how the Land Rover came. So Boyd, as a matter of fact, I was right and you were wrong, you had a Jeep. Now, I personally 
absolutely love SUVs and 4x4s. Traditionally, they have always been a lot more rugged with, um, you know, some of the mod comms missing uh, because essentially they were, of course, built to be rugged off-road terrain vehicles. Uh, this brand new one, however, is a huge difference in here. You could almost be mistaken for, uh, you know, being in a, uh, a modern Range Rover even. It has all of the luxuries and mod comms one would need from a car of this uh, caliber and of this price range, of course, starting at around about 240,000 dirhams here in the UAE. I think that equates to about $50,000 um, when buying it in the US and, and the UK, you know, a little bit less in pounds. But um, I've got the car and I'm driving it on Sheikh Zayed Road, Sheikh Zayed Road right now. And it is an absolute pleasure to drive. There is no um, indication that this was once a, uh, a just a aluminium bodied off-road vehicle. I mean, this brand new one drives just as smooth as any Range Rover would. You've got this beautiful infotainment in the middle. That's about 10 inches, another 12.1 inch screen right in front of me. Again, fully digital, beautiful steering wheel. The controls are nicely done. The ride quality is wonderful. You have these um, heated and cooled seats, which are always a delight in the GCC region. And it's just a beautiful cabin. You've got this lovely uh, moonroof, I believe they're called, that opens up all the way to the back. So in terms of luxury, in terms of what a nice car, and you see, you see that beep, it has all the driver aids like lane departure warning and emergency braking and an extensive range of 360 cameras backup cameras it really does have all of the tech one might need and more in the city so whether this is your chelsea tractor or whether this is the car that you want to this is the 4x4 that you want to go conquer the dubai desert it really is um, you know, on point, well done to Land Rover, well done, the brand new Defender.